Hey, what's up guys? Back in the bathroom here, checking out the 3D printer. Now, we've had a bit of an issue. What's happened is the end on this extruder, as you can see, has busted off. So, the actual metal piece that holds the plastic in is broken off. So that's just a bit of wear and tear, obviously, from the filament pushing in and out. It's just eventually given way and popped out. So what I've done is got a few extras off eBay. Now they're only a couple dollars each, so it's good to, when you get a 3D printer, just to have them handy, have a few extras lying around in case something like this does happen. So what I'm going to do is unscrew it. Now, usually you would have like a little shifter or something like that to undo it, which is a 12 mil. But in this case, it's actually quite loose at the moment. And as you can see, that's come off there. So we're going to have to get this off. That's chewed in a bit on that plastic. So what I'm going to do is, for starters, I'm going to have to take all the plastic out. Now, to do that, I'm going to have to heat it up um, and then pull the actual plastic back out. Um, but most likely it will snap. What I might have to do as well is actually cut it from here so we can um, just put a new fitting on. But I'll see how we go. I'll, I'll um, I'll plug it in and, and see how the new one goes. Alright, so we had to heat it up. Once we heated it up, the filament came out. And then I took the old fitting off, put the new one on. Now, use your hands to actually get it on the thread for starters before you use the shifter because you don't want to stuff the thread up. All right, so most of these other ones that I'd ordered didn't have the right thread on it. You just have to make sure you get the right thread. So I've just salvaged the one off this second extruder because I don't use it that much. So while I'm ordering another one, I'll make sure I get the right size thread this time off eBay. Now, if we put that on, We can pop this in the top. Now, it is a little bit messed up, so I'm gonna clean that tip off and uh, push it into the top here. All right, so now we screwed this on. I've pushed the plastic tubing in to that fitting. So it's hard to actually pull out now, which is good. And then what we wanna do is get the plastic and thread it up through. Now because all this has come out, it might be a little bit more difficult, but in worst case, pop this fitting off, feed it up through, and then put it on the other way. So you should be able to feed it Feed it up into it. And then screw this back down on the top. Now we're all the way in. I should heat up the extruder first. All right, now the bed's clean. I'm gonna push this filament in. And as it gets into the extruder, let's start to see It'll start to come out. And now I'm gonna tighten this up on the back. And now that's all fixed. So hopefully that uh, fitting holds now for a while. Uh, what I'm gonna do is order some more off eBay just to make sure I've got a few more on um, standby just in case something does happen again. Um, 
and because I had to trim this tube I uh, might get some more of that as well and replace this in a separate video um, and yeah maybe replace a few other things because it's as you can tell it's starting to have a bit of wear and tear and a good maintenance breakdown in uh, another video so thanks for watching and we'll catch you later Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like button or you can subscribe by hitting the button up here. Now I've also got a couple more videos up here on this side and I've also got my cryptocurrency channel over here. So go check that out. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.